we have to talk. We have to talk this time around about Emotion Drive 12 and Harmony OS. What's wrong with Harmony OS and Emotion UI 12? So let's get started. So Harmony OS has been announced quite some time in China and a lot of smartphones from Huawei and also Honor have been updated in China already. But why is it the case that some smartphones in China come out with Harmony OS, but here globally in Europe, in Germany for example, the Nova 9 comes out with Emotion UI 12. What is Emotion UI 12? Emo UI 12 actually? That's a good question. So I would say it's a step back from Harmony OS. And to prove this, you can take a look at the Nova 9's software. Because if you check, there are some tools, of course, Harmony OS is out for a long time already. And you saw already Harmony OS in the global market on my MatePad 11, for example, on the Huawei Watch 3 and the brand new Watch 3 GT. And it's working fine for them. But for some reason, Huawei decided not to put it on a smartphone. And what's the reason, actually? That's the reason. They decided for some reason that it's not stable or not good enough to promote Harmony OS on smartphones globally yet. Yet. That means because there are still talks going on about Harmony OS and all the technology behind it, that the operating itself, operating system itself is still in the talks, at least under developers or in the developer realm a little bit. So they had some global talks in London, I think, and also in Vienna, where they were talking about developing apps for Harmony OS. But they decided not to promote it yet on smartphones. So that means they have to put something else that people are familiar with, and this is Emotion UI. So there might be a reason I was talking about this already as well. If they want to update or upgrade from older devices, they have to keep the name not to lose the Google license for those devices who have the Google, Google license still. But this is still a little bit debatable because Samsung, for example, also changed their name of the UI they had. But it's a little bit more and yeah, a little bit greater change on Emotion UI 12 than we could expect from the name itself. It is based on Open Harmony, and you can see this with tools that have been developed for Harmony OS to show the system version on the Nova 9, for example. The Nova 9 is an interesting device that comes with, or the first global device that comes with Emotion UI 12. Uh, there was, I think, in Russia the Nova 8 already with Emotion UI 12, but uh, never, nevertheless, it's only sold in Russia, so it's not so global. And this version comes with Open Harmony version 2.2, I think it is. So you can take a look in the system information that are available that can show you the Open Harmony uh, version number. And if you check it on your Emotion UI 11 device, you will see there's no Open Harmony in there. So it is based or at least shipped Open Harmony. And especially you can see this in the distributed device feature on Harmony OS called Super Devices, under Emotion UI 11 it's called Device Plus. And this is a feature that Android simply doesn't have. And this is one of the reasons why the Open Harmony or some Harmony OS code is the base of Emotion UI 12. And you can clearly see this with all the features that Emotion UI 12 has. It's like an Emotion UI 12 is like Harmony OS Lite. So it is something Harmony OS in core, but stripped of certain functionality that is still not stable, like for example distributed tasks or uh, the multi-cam feature that I also showed you in several videos already. So why is Huawei doing it? So simply because they are not ready yet to promote Harmony OS globally on smartphones with all the features they promised earlier. So what they are doing is currently playing a little bit, I would say, beta testing in China with all the devices, getting them up to date. And then they're releasing a subset of this, that, which is declared stable as Emotion UI 12 for the global market. So we get something stable, something reliable that can be based upon. And this can be used later on for 
of course as base as update base for Harmony OS 3.0 because the ultimate goal for of Huawei is to release Harmony OS 3.0 together with the Mate 50 Pro probably in March, April or maybe February February 2022 20, 20, uh, I hope at least and this is something that we will see then so Harmony OS has been delayed to version 3 for the global release for smartphones so Emotion i12 is just like a step stone to Harmony OS 3.0 for now and this is the big secret and this is what is wrong with Harmony OS and Emotion i12 nothing much wrong with Harmony OS so far it will be coming globally as well it's just like under a different name Emotion i12 for the biggest parts and then later on with Harmony OS 3.0 you will get all the nice cool looking features and the brand new name Harmony OS 3.0 as well so this is everything for this little explanation video also discussion video a little bit you can discuss if this is a good strategy of Huawei to do such thing but it's a, I think it might be a bit confusing releasing tablets and watches with Harmony OS and telling everyone Harmony OS is one hour one Uni unifying operating system and then releasing Emotion i12 or phones with Emotion i12 where it's not really clear on what Android version are they based, which Android applications can I run on it. Tell me in the comment section what you think about this and that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.